Liz Truss is calling for an increase in defence spending, arguing the West has overseen a generation of underinvestment, which led to the invasion of Ukraine. The Foreign Secretary wants the traditional NATO target that defence spending equals 2% of GDP to be a minimum. 2% of UK GDP, that's currently around £43 billion, or roughly 60% of what the UK government currently spends on education. In a major foreign policy intervention, Trust will this evening give UK backing for Sweden and Finland, which shares a common border with Russia, of course, to join NATO. The free world needs to reboot, recast and remodel its approach to deterring aggressors, she will argue, while vowing, in her words, to double down on UK military support for Ukraine. While the UK and NATO aren't engaged in military conflict directly with Russia, of course, this is a full-on East-West economic war. Western sanctions are in place trying to prevent goods and financial flows from moving in and out of Russia. That's stoking up fuel and food prices everywhere, of course, given that Russia is ordinarily a major supplier. That's seriously aggravating the cost of living crisis here in the West. Russia supplies around 40% of Western Europe's natural gas, but now the Kremlin is upping the ante, cutting off gas supplies to both Poland and Bulgaria. Moscow satellite states back in the days of the Soviet Union, both Poland and Bulgaria, are now in the EU. So Russia's move marks a major escalation of its energy conflict with the West. Moscow claims it's cutting supplies from Poland and Bulgaria, which get 45 and 75 per cent of their gas from Russia, respectively, because both are refusing to pay for that gas in rubles. The Kremlin wants ruble payment to shore up its currency and presumably to get around Western sanctions, now excluding Russia from the US-dominated SWIFT banking network, which limits Moscow's ability to make payments abroad in other currencies. At the start of this month, UK household utility bills rose an average of 54% on average, as energy regulator raised the price cap to reflect soaring wholesale gas prices. There are more increases in the pipeline, and this row with Russia won't help. On European markets this morning, the gas price spiked by 20% on news of the Kremlin's move. Poland accuses Russia of gas imperialism. Bulgaria says it's blackmail. And Foreign Secretary Liz Truss will now no doubt be updating tonight's speech to condemn what Moscow has done. But be in no doubt, this refusal to pump gas to certain EU nations marks a major escalation as Moscow pushes back against Western sanctions, sanctions which the West may now, in turn, choose to tighten even more. And that's our on-the-money question today. Just how should the West respond to Russia's energy blockade?